loaded up and we got the camper pulling the the old uh, Bendix Corsair 26 in, or 26 foot uh, pull behind. You quickly remember how fun this hunt is and how you wish you could do it every year and how, how fun it is to come out here and hunt. Um, you know, for me, it's it's kind of unique. It's, it kind of feels like you're in a different, you know, it does kind of feel like you're in Wyoming or uh, you know, a different state or even a different country hunting these because the look of them, um, the landscape you're hunting in, uh, it's kind of like a, a South Dakota safari. There you go. Everyone has a story. For us, it's no different. We are like-minded average guys with an above average passion to go anywhere and try everything. We don't chase trophies, we chase the experience and we chase for the stories. These are our stories. Growing up, I did a lot more, did a lot more deer hunting. You know, I started deer hunting when I was, you know, 14, 15, and um, my first antelope hunt, you know, came quite a few years after that. You know, and uh, I was introduced to it, of course, by my dad. You know, my dad grew up hunting, um, going with my grandpa, my brother, um, those guys that went out before me. But uh, you know, that's the main reason. You know, and that's that's what's great about heaven family, friends that hunt, you know, they introduce you to these awesome things that, that you may not know much about. So every year getting better and better and, and as you hunters know, the more you kind of, you know, the more you hunt an animal, the more you kind of become obsessed and uh, interested in how they act and, and want to learn more about them and uh, it just makes the, the hunt and, and if you're lucky enough to shoot and harvest one, uh, that much more rewarding. So. Opening morning on South Dakota. Rifle, antelope, and uh, yeah, it's uh, Saturday morning. Um, the sun's just coming up, and we're walking in we're probably about a mile in um, on this chunk of ground. Just continue to work our way back, try to get away from the traffic. Um, I got my dad and I out here hunting. Should be a fun day, and. Uh, yeah, we'll see if we come up with them. We're hoping to see something. Um, we've done them. Quick, I'm going to go to the next area. Hey. Good luck, buddy. Encounter. Uh, the first 20, 30 minutes here. And there's a group of about five of them. Um, there's a little couple little bucks in there. They seem to be doing circles and they're running around through that off. Hopefully that's what we got here. Morning hunt uh, just wrapped up. Um, we still have time, it's pretty early. It's probably the first hour and a half, two hours into the morning. We saw 11 antelope of that. Three or four of them are smaller bucks. Yeah, this one's about 100 yards away from us. So not a bad morning. Um, if we weren't picky, we'd be tagged out already. Um, but uh, not too much honey pressure. You know, they're getting moved around a little bit. Uh, we just don't have a, a super good feeling about this area, I feel. What we've seen, we've seen, and we're going to move out and go to a new area to the north of us. Um, 
30 miles. So, I think it's a good opener, or a good opening morning. Saw a few antelope and um, across our shooting sticks that we get one down by the end of the day, Tommy or I. All right, let's go. Closed captioning is brought to you by North Central Food Processing Supply in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Uh, first day, we're still uh, in somewhat of the same area we hunted this morning, just a little more north, and um, we're in an area that there's a few more hunters, but it's still a good-looking area, and um, but we came out to this new spot, walked out, I don't know, probably a half mile in here, maybe not that far, and, but you can look for quite a ways. I mean, you can see forever. And uh, we were hoping to come up over this hill, scan, and try and catch a group, but we're not seeing anything. A lot of cattle, a lot of sheep. It's the wrong four-legged creature. We're after a different four-legged creature, so. Stay in that ravine, I bet. Am I like doing you? Did you just see that? <laughs> Out of. Oh, well, we just, on the way back to the truck, stumbled across a group of 19 antelope. I'm watching them run right now. Uh, oddly enough, here I was like born in shock initially, like, wow. But then I'm like looking. Not a buck, not a buck. There's a buck in the very back, and he's a little bit smaller, and he only had one side. Um, that is absolutely crazy. How is there not more than one buck in there? Well, after that, we were on our way up, up this hill that just goes down to the bottom. 19 run by us. I heard a 19. There was one smaller buck in the back and a whole half of it was broke off. 19 of them. I'm sitting there walking. How close they been by where I was? I mean right there. Right there. So I'm sitting there kind of daydreaming all of a sudden I look up and 100 yards from us just 19 of them running. What about you? We're gonna get you on one tonight. Where are we off to now? We're going to the west side. West side till we die. If 
you go even farther west, we have got this area, yeah, that's fine. this area, this area. Go back to where we just were. And this thing. We're right here. So this was all pretty well run over, but if you go down. All right, we're at new area number three for today. Are you gonna try and work by him and come up over the hill? Is what you're gonna try and do? I'm gonna take it little bit by little bit. We'll kind of see what the terrain looks like once we get up there, because once you get up there, it's it, it all changes and it gets way hillier than you think. Okay. And we might be able to just use our terrain right up to them. All right, see you, buddy. Yep. So we uh, run our third kind of new area of the day and um, spotted what looks to be a uh, a buck all alone in and amongst a bunch of cattle, uh, probably about a mile from the truck. Um, he's way out there, we can't even tell what he is, but uh, he's alone. More than likely it's a buck. You can see a little black on his head, so it's looking positive at this point. Uh, now he's had to have all the stars line up as we make our way towards him um, in and amongst all the cattle. Uh, had to play some uh, Plinko cattle. Cattle Plinko? Let's go. see two more out there just in and amongst the cows further to the north I think he's behind there's a ridge there I think he's behind a ridge um, but uh, yeah there's gonna we're gonna have more antelope out here than just him I don't see him Everybody's out there. So we're making this recent stock and we're dealing with cows and ran into another hunter um, on the way out here and kind of pushed some other antelope on the way. So by halfway out, we ended up not even finding the original antelope we saw. We uh, saw a couple other ones, ran into a couple other ones, but I'm pretty sure the one we had spotted was a buck, so uh, we're now right in the middle of a three mile section and it's quite the vantage point. It's pretty sweet and uh, yeah, I mean we're trying to come up with a new plan. sitting here at the second morning and um, I've been sitting here for an hour, hour and a half and um, we've seen one antelope across this bottom on the other side on the other ridge. It's on public but pretty sure we identified it as a doe and um, not what we're looking for. So we're coming up with a new plan. Uh, since we can see forever here, I mean we're scanning and scanning and there could be something out there, but we're not seeing much. So we're gonna go to a different area. We're gonna head south. Um, kind of came up with a new plan where we can, we're gonna walk. It'll probably be five, six miles. Um, into some land we think that hasn't really been hunted yet. A little curl, doesn't he? Can't tell. Let me see, just a little curl. Where in the heck did those come from? They're just chasing. 
he's big enough. I'll shoot him if he. I just want to get set up. If he gets close to 350. Oh, you're fine. I'm just going to move up a little bit here so I can put my semi back down. Four hundred, I'd take a shot at him. Yeah, look at those ended up right where we were. Dude, God, felt like a great shot, but he didn't drop him. Like, are you serious? He's nice. All right, so Mayo and I are just walking. Um, you know, we're into this, you know, start of this walk. You know, it's five, six miles long, and. Uh, you know, and out the backside, I, you know, backside, I, I would just see these antelope kind of back behind us. <sighs> you know, this buck, there's, there's three, three does in with this buck, and the buck ironically split off from the does. It was perfect. Stood up right where he was laid down, um, bedded down for a little bit, and put it right behind his shoulder, and, and there he go. So it's just crazy. You know, this area that we thought would turn into, you know, I, I kept telling Mayo and Mayo kept telling me, you guys just stay positive because stuff can change in a heartbeat and it literally did. This changed and from the time we made a move on him and started working our way till the shot was probably five minutes. Wow, how things can change. So jacked, wow. Awesome. I just, I'm, I'm kind of speechless right now. 
Um, we just kept trying and trying. So we worked our butts off and I couldn't be happier. Uh, a Western South Dakota antelope. And it's a good one. I mean, I am so thrilled. And again, these, I, I have walked up to, I was giving Mayo, pat him on the back. He's got ivory tips, not a lot, but he's got some. So I'm, I'm speechless and just absolutely thrilled. Um, caught us off guard a little bit. So, all right, now time to figure out the game plan and pack them up and haul them out. Somewhere between the success and the failures of each trip is the little details that we so often forget. Those small and important details are always jarred loose in the most timely of matter. We are privileged to have such opportunities to make memories not only in South Dakota, but on this earth. That's why we tell our stories. It is an opportunity to pass down a memory that perhaps would have been forgotten. So share your most vivid memories, but most importantly, Share the forgotten memories.